What you'll find is that people are driven by two things. Some people are competence-driven, while others are achievement-driven. An achievement-driven person thrives when they accomplish tasks and receive regular feedback. Their sense of satisfaction isn't derived from the actual tasks they perform, but rather from the acknowledgement for a job well done. An example of an achievement-driven person at our lemonade stand might be the cashier. They might be happy doing any task as long as they do it well. In contrast, people who are competence-driven thrive from the pursuit of mastery in their profession. So they're most successful in an environment that allows for autonomy, where managerial feedback is focused on their, hopefully, ever-increasing proficiency. You don't want this person to get bored. The master chef who's responsible for dreaming up new flavors is a good example of someone who might be competence-driven at our lemonade stand. Now here's where you enter the picture, coach. Whether your team member is achievement-driven or competence-driven, your job is to maximize, maximize your, your team's, team's output. output.